Okay, here we go, back again with another little, little Wacky Surf Wednesday. And today is the one we want to do for a while, it's a bit of a rare breed in South London, but I managed to pick this up today in a little shop uh, not too far from me, and it is a uh, tenant super, or super tea as it's known, it's known on the street. Uh, a once man once said, um, if I want to sit indoors and drink super tea in a day, I will. No one's going to fucking tell me Jack, so I've took them words to heart and actually going to bosh a super tea. Um, so I do like how Super Tea has got like a, a warning label now on there on the old eight percent of this super strong, super strong lager. So, uh, but they still still persist with the classic uh, Super Tenants um, logo and brand in there, which is uh, yeah. If you see this, you know you know you're in for in for fun. I did have a look at Tenants website, and as usual, as per usual, when you go to uh, a breweries website and they serve like a super drink or super supercharged drink they only show you the, the standard stuff the normal tenants the tenants light and gluten free super tenants is uh, nowhere to be seen but anyway it's a bit like they're ashamed of it but uh, let's see uh, let's see what this tastes like Okay, to me it's quite dark for a lager there. Didn't think it'd be that dark actually, thought it'd be a little bit of a bit of a lighter lighter visuals on that. On that it just smells just smells nasty. Nothing nothing appealing there. If you take a lot like, of deep breath you can nearly hit like get the alcohol hitting the back of your throat just from the just from the sniff. Let's uh, dive in. Okay, it's got a bit of a, a bit of a sharpy, little sharp little taste. Like after they let it sit for a second, it's not very appealing. Mm, no, it's not. I've heard worse boozies to be fair, but I did hear this advice before when I was in Scotland at a festival and someone's drinking super tea by their tent. They said if you want to drink a super tea, just uh, drink it as quick as you can and it doesn't taste too bad. And I think it's one of them, if you let it sit, it just gets, the taste just gets, lingers and it gets worse and worse and worse and worse. But if you just power through it, it's actually not too bad. I don't know how they've actually done that. Um, I, do, yeah, I don't know how they've managed to come up with uh, a recipe that if you let it sit, it just uh, tastes like shit. But if you'll just keep bashing it down, it just start washing, washes away that first taste. And then as the taste kind of resets itself, kind of refreshes. But yeah, I've let it set for like 10 seconds and it's just like a dirty, metallic, like bitter taste in your mouth, in the back of your throat. But yeah, that's super tea. That's super tea for you. Uh, not one to to take lightly and it's uh, 8% so do heed the advice um, don't go too mad when you're drinking this over the park with your uh, with the new normal park drinking instead of being in the pub anyway this is Booze House out see ya bye